Hello there, Pokemon trainers. Trainer Connor here, and it's time for a Wi-Fi battle. Now, this is actually a interesting match here because I'm using a Molo Fairy type team. Now, this person I'm facing here, his Twitter handle will be in the description. Go follow him on Twitter if you have a Twitter account. Um, he's in charge of the Lithio Battle Association. I'm not completely sure. But I'm part of, I'm a gym leader for this miniature tournament. And you're supposed to bring a mono type team. And the only team that I could use is the fairy type. So we have a mono fairy type team because I'm a fairy type gym leader. Wow, I could have said that a lot better, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go over my team real quick. We have a a nasty plot Togekiss. That's actually Alexis, Alexis the Togekiss. We have a Mega Gardevoir. Because Mega Mawile is banned from standard play, so Mega Gardevoir from my Mega. Um, belly Drum... Azumarill, because that would be amazing when I use that move, Belly Drum, to maximize my attacking power, and uh, that would be really fun. We have a defensive Sylveon. Uh, this is Dexter the Gramble here. And last but not least, we have a Choice Band Mawile. If you look at my opponent's team, the only things that I'm worried about are going to be the Gardevoir of his own and Crobat. Possibly Cloyster if it has Shell Smash, but all together, I think Crobat, because Crobat can handle all of my Pokemon except for my Mawile. So let's begin the match. I'm going to start with Alexis, go straight for the Nasty Plot. Because uh, I know that Mill Tank can set up Stealth Rocks here. And I don't have a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger to get rid of those Stealth Rocks. We're going to go with a plus two uh, Air Slash here. Trying to get the flinch, but I don't get that, of course. Because when I really need it, I don't get that. It's a 60% chance to happen. I don't know why I'm not getting a flinch. But we almost killed the no tank. But he has a citrus berry. He's trying to get the paralysis from the body slam that he's going for. And he does not get the paralysis. So that makes it even, makes it equal on the hats portion of things. And we're able to finish off no tank. No problems at all, except for the Stealth Ox, which I guess the only Pokemon that I have to fear getting hurt by those Stealth Ox are going to be Alexis, actually. Now, I actually predicted him to predict the Cross Poison, because I had a Mawile switch into this thing, so I predicted him to pre over predict, and it works out really nicely because he went for U-Turn. And I'm going to stay in here, go for another Air Slash, catch the Miss Magius on his way in, and then we do a great amount of damage. We don't take him out, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I'm faster or not. Uh, we are not fast enough, and we get hit by a Shadow Ball. And uh, because Togekiss has amazing special defense, we're going to take that with ease, and we're going to finish off Miss Magius. So that worked out pretty well for Alexis. Uh, we get our Leftovers Recovery. Now his next Pokemon is actually going to be a threat, Cloyster. Uh, I was really scared of him setting up with the Shell Smash, so I decided to go into Jawwild, Jawwild, and Mawile. This thing is Choice Banded. I could have gone with a Sucker Punch, uh, but the, the thing is, Cloyster has monstrous physical defense. So if I went for a Sucker Punch, uh, he might switch out too. So going for that would not be the best play in the world. I go with a Iron Head, uh, and we hit him on top. 
We hit hit ball cup. Yes, that just happened. I wasn't sure what he had. I know I got my attacking power. I know I had my attack lord there from the Incognito. Uh, he has Bulldoze as an attacking move to hit Mawile with, which kind of sucks because I didn't see that one coming. Uh, now we're going to retaliate back. Let's Incognito his attacking power. So, uh, it's pretty obvious that he might have, like, a fighting pet move or something. Uh, he has close combat, so it's interesting that he went for that move because close combat isn't super effective against Mawile. I believe it's mutual damage. So we're going to go with a play rough here. And uh, this cloister, this thing has good physical defense. Now his attacking move there, Icicle Spear, it will hit five times because of skill link, but this Citrus Berry that I have on Dexter is going to save me from dying from that move. And we're going to just do a ton of damage to him with another play rough. This way I can uh, hopefully finish him off with a, another Pokemon if I have to. He gets a critical hit on the Icicle Spear. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So I go into Zelda here, thinking I could outspeed this Cloister. Um, it is going to be possible after I go Mega, because of course the regular Pokemon speed is taken into account on the on the first turn. So he will outspeed me. I'm thinking, okay, should I take this? I, I should be able to take a hit from this thing. But we find out that this Icicle Spear is a little too much. He gets another critical hit, and we don't get to use Mega Gardevoir in this Wi-Fi battle. That's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay, because we have a Zoom Earl. You know what we're gonna go for, right? We are gonna go with a Belly Drum. Heck yes, because based off the damage that the Cloister was going, I figured that it was Choice Bandit. So, we're gonna go with a Belly Drum. Yeah, our HP is cut short there, but we have plus six attack. Perfect. Now, I do have priority in the form of Aqua Jet. Here, my opponent thinks that I would go for a waterfall this turn, but I just have Aqua Jet as my only uh, water type move. So there's really no hope for my opponent. He can switch out and go into Hitmontop like he chooses to do, but that just leaves me with a plus five Azumarill, and he has to contend with that. How is he going to do that? Uh, he does have Crobat, but plus five Aqua Jet, huge power boost there as well. Scab plus Crobat's weak defense. He's not gonna take that blow. Now here is Mega Gargafor. That thing is not gonna take an Aqua Jet either. And so we're, we're, we're on a roll right now. We're gonna hopefully sweep with a zoom roll here. But at the, uh, in the long run, I decided to hopefully use my Sylveon or something like that. But then I realized, oh wait, we have Cloyster. I don't think my Sylveon can take a Icicle Spear that's Choice Bandit or something. Uh, we see I went for another Belly Drum there, but that's okay. I just wanted to be nice and just try to use some of my other Pokemon in this battle. But yeah, um, I was going to go with the Sylveon after that. But I guess the long run, in the long run, going for Sucker Punch is my optimal play. So that was a great battle. I hope you all enjoyed this. Hopefully my narration wasn't too bad. And um, I will not be uploading in the next few days here because I'm going out of town. But do expect some more uploads here soon. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi Bell video. All right, have a great day, trainers.